Guys, this video is sponsored by Simply Safe, but we'll talk about those guys later in the video. Ladies and gentlemen, do not click off. You are on the right channel. Yes, this is Chase on two wheels, and today we're on three because we got a slingshot in the shop. All right, guys, today we are on a 2022 Polaris Slingshot. This is their SLR model. If you guys have been fans of the channel for a long time, uh, you guys know about once a year, Polaris is like, hey, Chase, you want to ride a Slingshot around? And I'm like, you freaking betcha I do. This is a manual version. This is their SLR model. Like I said, it is in this pretty orange that actually matches my glasses perfectly. Also, can I tell you how excited I am? to do a first ride in shorts so amped on that guys of course we're here at mountain motorsports in roswell this is not from mountain motorsports this is from polaris themselves uh but you guys know we got to do our route we got to do our thing but before we get to riding it let's see what it looks like and let's see what it sounds like Alrighty guys, that's what it looks like, that's what it sounds like. Now before we get going, let's drop an ad real fast because we gotta be able to afford to do some beautiful camera car footage. Car to car footage this time. Let's talk about an ad real quick. Thanks Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. For you guys that don't already know, Simply Safe is an easier way to secure your home and family. Simply Safe systems are customized to your home with a comprehensive lineup of sensors and cameras that all connect to their 24-7 monitoring service that sends help fast in an emergency. You simply go on their website and go through all of the sensors and you just grab as many as you need to cover all the spots in your house. They've got all types of sensors that cover windows, rooms, doors, and lots of great extras like water sensors, smoke detectors, as well as cameras, both for outdoor, doorbell cams, and indoor cameras. They also just recently launched this new outdoor camera that I've really enjoyed using. Whether I'm in the backyard or at the shop, I can just pull up my phone and check in on the camera from anywhere. With all of their sensors, your home, garage, or shop is professionally monitored 24-7. If anything happens, Simply Safe's always on team will call authorities immediately. The reason I continue to use and trust Simply Safe is that they have no contracts. I've had really terrible experiences with other security companies locking me into contracts, and then I have to pay them to cancel it when me and my wife move. Now I don't have to worry about that anymore with Simply Safe. Plus, trying Simply Safe is completely risk-free. If you don't absolutely love your system, just return it within 60 days for a full refund. If you guys are in the market for a new home security system, you can save 20% on your Simply Safe security system when you sign up for an interactive monitoring plan and you get your first month free. You're welcome. Just visit simplysafe.com slash chase to learn more. Also, thank you guys for checking them out because it really helps the channel out. And now back to the video. All right, dudes, you know them, you love them. We love Simply Safe here. Thank you guys for supporting Simply Safe. They're a huge sponsor of the channel, and you know why? Because you guys support them supporting us. So shout out to any of you guys that use Simply Safe. I use it and I love it. All right. We are here with the slingshot. Let's get this thing cranked up because bruh, it's hot. 
It is so hot. We got uh, got my water pack here on the side. Don't have to wear it on my back. That's awesome. Look at this. I even matched my hat. Shout out to River. All right. Parking brake is down. Now, before we get going, guys, <laughs> I would tell you I'm 5'10 with a 32 inch gen scene, but you guys don't really need to know that here. So as far as the cockpit, you got two seats here. We got a little glove box if we want to get into some stuff there. Oh, look at that. We got a little charging outlet over there. That's awesome. Uh, we have a little touch screen here that's honestly one of the most responsive touch screens I've ever played with. If you guys don't know, the SLR model is their uh, kind of entry level model. It doesn't have as much of the tech that the R model has, but loving the screen. Very responsive. We love this. Before we get going, I got to let you guys know. I know I ride motorcycles daily. I don't do the whole manual car shifting very well. Let's get this thing out of slingshot mode so we can start in comfort. But I'm not great at driving a manual car. Please do not judge this video for the manual car drivingness of it, okay? Give your boy a break. Let's go. If you guys are curious, we're all filming this on a Monday. Mountain is closed on Monday. That's why there's no cars here and that's why their boats are locked away. And uh, guys, we're not a slingshot, but if you're into motorcycles as well, which you could be, uh, we got a Discord that you guys should totally check out. You'll have a link in the description. You guys can actually recommend bikes for me to do first rides on there. So if you want to hang out with some motorcycle people on Discord, you guys know where to do it at. All right, let's uh, let's 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 peek our peek our way out and let's get her going. I'm gonna ride it like a motorcycle, right? I think there's not enough wind. I might be able to keep my visor open this whole time, so I hope the audio is not trash for you guys. Alrighty, dudes, we are here on the Slingshot SLR. This is their 2022 model. And like I said, the SLR model is going to be kind of their entry level. It's like right, it's priced right under 30,000. So, motorcycle terms, that's expensive as shit. Uh, car terms, it's not crazy expensive. So, uh, we have a lot to talk about, uh, this being not a motorcycle, I'm not gonna, all of our normal first ride conversations aren't necessarily gonna work, but we're gonna try to mold it to, to make it work for the slingshot here. What we do know is that this is a hilariously fun vehicle to drive, just in the little life, it, the, you know, I ride like one a year, basically, and uh, every time I ride around it, man, I, I get such good looks, it's hilarious. I, my goal for this entire video is don't stall. If I get through this entire video without stalling, I think it's a success. All right, guys, this is typically where I tell you guys about the body position right now. And uh, what I can tell you is I, I do have my body in the vehicle and that I do feel very sporty. These seats are very sport seats. They got the sides that come out. I feel locked into this thing, which is really nice, especially when you get to going side to side. I feel super comfortable. I think everything's kind of proportioned really well for me. I'm kind of an average sized guy, I'm a little chubby, but like height and all that kind of stuff. My legs fit in here well, and the seat is adjustable to make it a little more comfortable for me. I haven't had to adjust it since it got dropped off, so pretty happy with the uh, comfort here. I can reach all the screens, all the buttons. I got, uh, I got no problems with this stuff, man. Mirrors seem to be in a decent place. I can actually see them. Traffic is gonna kill me today. Also, side note, uh, if you guys are wondering, I'm getting over a cold right now. So my voice, my voice might sound a little weird. That's why. Felt like absolute trash for the last four days. But first rides never sleep, fam. We gotta be out here. We gotta be riding or driving in today's case. So guys, uh, riding around in these like city streets, some of the things that are kind of coming out, kind of apparent here, right now is the uh, the gearing. The gearing, very short geared. I feel like I can barely get to 20 miles an hour and I've got to shift into second already, which part of that is cool because you know, you're in this small little thing and it gets you in this like kind of aggressive mindset. But I mean, I've only been riding around a little bit and I'm like, bruh, can first gear be a little taller? Like I need to get above 20 before I'm shifting. It's a little, it's a little a lot, if I'm gonna be honest. You got, you manual car drivers, maybe maybe that's kind of normal. Maybe that's not a, a, a short gear. You guys have to let me know in the comments. Also, something we forgot to do is take uh, this vehicle out of comfort mode because I don't know a lot of people that are gonna buy a slingshot and put it in comfort mode. Comfort mode, uh, 
from what it seems to me, basically gets the engine revving up a little slower. So you got slingshot mode, uh, basically is their kind of like sport mode. Basically, it seems to rev the engine up higher. I'm not sure if that unlocks more horsepower or not. So, yeah, guys, we are in slingshot mode now because uh, we're in slingshot. Why the hell am I going to be in comfort mode on the slingshot? This could be me being this kind of low angle right now. Like, I'm, I'm really low. I'm, like, supercar uh, low. I do feel like this vehicle seems a little wide. You know, we got the little fender flare on the right side. Makes it kind of hard to see where my wheel is over there. I'm also a motorcyclist, so I'm not used to uh, being in a car-sized object. It's a very interesting perspective, the slingshot. You, uh, you're low to the ground, which makes you seem super uh, athletic, super nimble, right? Makes you seem like you're going really fast because you see the ground, like, literally right there. But then you're super wide, and, you know, and it's like, over here, I can literally see my tires. So I, can get a, I know exactly where I am in the lane thanks to the left wheel. And thanks to my position but i do find it a little hard to keep track of where my wideness is on the right side and uh you know especially in these streets where like they're doing a lot of construction and shit like that uh or if you're in like down a downtown setting and the, the lanes are kind of small i can see that being a little complicated you know you're like am i about to hit a curb or something like that obviously you know if you own the, uh, the <laughs> keep saying want to say motorcycle if you own this thing for a little while, I'm sure you'd get a sense of how wide it is and where you are in the lane. But, you know, just that first impression, kind of realizing that I have no idea how far I am over there. If I look, I can actually see where the lane is. So, like, that's helpful. Kind of digging how much it revs up in slingshot mode, though. It does make the vehicle feel far more, uh, more aggressive than comfort mode does, which, you know, that makes sense. That should make sense. You know, you gotta love a vehicle that looks like it's made for pure performance and it's not <laughs> but you get all the thrill of pure performance with none of the actual performance so to be clear what i'm talking about uh power numbers this thing's not looking that crazy like horsepower's got 208 it's got 144 foot pounds of torque and uh, it comes in at a weight of like 16, 1,670 pounds. So like, it's not realistically that much of a power machine, especially once you start comparing it to actual supercars. Even if you compare it to something like a Corvette, this thing has nothing for power. But what you get, you might not get that inline acceleration, but as far as I'm concerned, you get 100% of the thrill of being in a supercar, riding this around. And that's when that price tag of 30 grand actually starts making sense. Because if you ask me, $30,000 for what is essentially a showpiece is a lot of money. But when you can get this much fun out of it, just riding it around and having a good time, it starts to make a little bit of sense. We'll dig more into it, but we got the highway coming up. In the past, the Slingshot has not been the most ideal highway vehicle, but let's see what they got for the 2022 model. I ain't judging it till I drive it in that environment. So let's see what we can do for a 40 to 80 pull on this thing. Man, the 40 to 80 pull is going to be so trash because I can't drive a stick very well. You guys will just have to apologize. I'm going to go ahead and apologize for the 40 to 80 pull. This vehicle is not going to get its due, its due process with the 40 to 80 pull. Let's just do the thing where we drive slowly, we let cars get ahead of us, and then we'll punch it. All right, guys, 2022 Slingshot 40 to 80 pull. Let's go. No, let's not. Let's not. Cars are not set up for that right now. All right, on your mark, get set. Go. the fuck just happened it like went into neutral i've never seen that happen before that was scary that was terrible <laughs> no 40 to 80 pull here holy shit oh that was so bad so we're here on the highway and this is not necessarily the place i would recommend this vehicle but i find myself here so we got cruise control which is nice let's try that let's set the cruise control is it set? I can barely see that green light, but it is set. Okay. 
Cruise control's chill, no problems there. All right, we're gonna undo cruise control. Nobody likes cruise control on a slingshot. So, changing lanes here on the highway. Car feels fine. It, there is this kind of weirdness with the slingshot and the steering. You know, you've got three wheels, right? When I steer, I almost feel like I steer and then the car responds. It's a little, a little strange in that way. I don't, uh, I don't feel like it's very aggressive, but then when I get going, it, it gets going in that lane pretty easily. I do feel like it's a little more stable than slingshots in the past. I don't know if that's a suspension change or what, but in the past, the car's honestly been a little scared to drive on the highway because it kind of like falls all over the place. This one seems to be a little more stable. This is actually one of the better slingshots I've ridden on the highway. I like where the engine's at here on the highway going highway speeds. I don't feel like I'm stressing the engine out or anything like that. Overall, this is pretty chill. I could see staying on the highway for a little weekend cruise with this. I wouldn't mind that at all. Feels very comfortable. I'm getting me a tan. I could do this. I could do this for a little while driving to some fun roads. I would have no problem here. All right, now the question is, can I get myself into a situation where I can do a 40 to 80 pull here on the highway? without breaking the car. All right, let's try 40 to 80 pull, fam. On your mark, get set, go. There we go. That was not as as the other one, but it was almost as bad if we're going to be honest. So that's kind of goes to what I was saying. Not the fastest vehicle on the planet, but still ridiculously fun to drive. And honestly, better on the highway than I expected. So that's not the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. All right, fam, that's the highway. I don't think a lot of people are buying a slingshot to ride on the highway. So we're going to take our big turn. We're gonna get this thing thrown over and we're gonna see then what it feels like. Because I imagine it's gonna be a bit more exciting than the highway. All right, and slinging the slingshot. This is where the bucket seats are great. <laughs> Yay! I love this part. Oh my goodness, this is fun. Okay. I feel great. I feel composed. Uh oh, bumps on the road. And I feel everything. Oh, that was fun. I want more of that. Oh, shit, red light. All right, guys, while I'm stuck at a red light, let's jump to the camera car and see what the guys in the camera car think of the slingshot, since I can't go anywhere anyway. 2022 Polaris Slingshot SLR. Took this thing out for a pretty fun afternoon. It kind of felt like it's something in between a Miata and a S2000, so I'm a big fan. I definitely get the Miata vibes. It does handle a bit like a, a Wave Runner. <laughs> or like a sea do uh, but it feels like a go-kart and crack. These things are fun. They're expensive, but if you have to go for it, they're a load of fun. All right, guys, thank you in the camera car for your opinions on the slingshot. Even more so, thank you, Cardo, guys. We love Cardo here on the shop. They are a channel sponsor. If you guys want to get a discount on a Cardo, link in the description. They are the best Bluetooth units on the market. All right, guys, so back to the slingshot. Let's talk about power real quick. Now, like I said, you're not getting a ton of power out of this thing, but you will benefit greatly by making sure to have it in slingshot mode. The car feels so much more aggressive power-wise when you have it in slingshot mode. And honestly, I feel like the power is ample for you to have a really good time and not like overdo it. You do have less traction with three tires. You all have, also have all the power going down with one wheel in the back. So you do have to worry about traction a little bit. I honestly feel like for the user case for this vehicle, the power is totally adequate. Now when it comes to the transmission, I got really no problems with the transmission. Like slingshots are like literally the only car like vehicle that I ever ride with a car style transmission. I'm an idiot and I'm terrible at shifting and I have no problem shifting it with the pedal. So I would say it's pretty easy to use and I've got no issues with the amount of feedback I'm getting in the pedals. So. That's basically my, my synopsis on the transmission. So guys, talking about, uh, next up, let's talk about engine braking, since that's kind of like braking and transmission together. I kind of like the engine braking. I don't get that uh, experience of engine braking in a car very often. And uh, I really like it, honestly. I think it's uh, pretty nice. It, I don't use the brakes that often because of the engine braking, because it's a pretty strong amount. So really happy with that. Speaking of the brakes, when I have actually had to stomp on them, uh, I've had no problem. They're a little soft, 
but that's kind of they kind of match the the aggression and the acceleration of the car you know you you see a car like this you expect it to break on a dime and accelerate like a lightning bolt and it doesn't really do either of those things but somehow you ride around in it and you're like i don't really care though i'm not buying this to do a track day you know i'm riding this to, to have a good time and enjoy myself and i think this car does that in a relatively uh what is it lacking performance platform it's a very odd statement to make and i i just made it so there's that all right dudes let's talk about the control setup so control wise i feel like everything is uh is really solid all the buttons feel good as far as all the buttons inside something you gotta gotta consider this vehicle has to be made to be rained on there's no roof here so with that being said everything has to have like an outside endurance coating and what i kind of expected is them to not have a really good press all the buttons feel good they get a good tactile feel even with that weather resistance that they have to have built in and uh, i like these little switches up here like i said that screen is phenomenally responsive heather and i have a brand new subaru and the screen on that thing it's brand new and it's kind of laggy this thing instantly responsive i love that screen i can also see the screen really well here in the daylight like there's no clouds out guys that sun is just beaming straight down i've got no problem seeing that screen so i've got no problems there I feel like steering wheels are a really good size and the uh the mirrors while also looking good seem to perform really well as well i also really like that there's a phone holder here problem though is that it puts your phone there's like nothing blocking your phone other than this top spot so right now my phone's about a thousand degrees nothing i can do about that but i'm not going to put it in my pocket when i'm wearing uh running shorts overall though as far as being on the inside of the vehicle uh kind of dig it i do feel like a little of the pieces like this you do they do seem a little cheap if you look at them like look at that it's a little bendy boy all over the place it's probably really durable but the type of plastic it's made out of i kind of wish it was a little thicker to give it more of a premium feel but this is their slr model but the thing is their r model i think is the same way it's got the same stuff i do wish i had a little higher build quality on a few little pieces oh let's touch on something real quick speaker system this thing does have a speaker system but we won't be using that it can all connect to your phone and stuff we got copyright issues if we use music so that's a problem one more problem with the slingshot and that's what the slingshot will always have is the fact that there are three wheels those three wheels span the distance of the entire vehicle and what that means is you cannot dodge anything on the ground that's one of my big problems with the slingshot guys with a motorcycle you got a one line and you can dodge things in a car you got two lines and you can dodge things with a slingshot if there's something in the ground you're going to hit it without a shadow of a doubt that's one of the the major downfalls i would consider of the slingshot but uh we all know that now so oh, i don't have like that thing that pine cone i had to hit that there's no way i couldn't so guys we're gonna pull off real quick and do a little walk around of the slingshot before i talk too much about the annoyingness of it having three wheels and not being able to dodge anything also i gotta take a break from talking for a second because my god i'm about to get into a coffin fit and nobody wants to hear that especially bo who has to edit this video old spot 144 it looks different in a slingshot all right dudes let's uh, get her turned off and let's do a little walk around all right dudes there she blows slingshot slr i love the look of these things man they look so cool so unique all right something i'm noticing now i am sweating <laughs> my back and my size are so sweaty right now i got a black t-shirt on it is a hot day today in georgia so the humidity is huge but keep that in mind, man. You're going to be out in the elements. You know, there's nothing saving you. We got a little belt drive back here, non adjustable suspension up front and in the rear. But overall, super cool looking ride. Here's, uh, here's another example of that kind of flimsiness. Look at this. And we just got little pieces not matching. I don't know. Here's the thing I feel like the slingshot looks coolest from about here. If you get closer, if you start inspecting it, then it becomes more of like this fun little go-karty thing. But from here, you're like, bro, is that like a supercar with like a V10? No, absolutely not. 
And guys, I gotta get back on the road soon because it is hot as hell. But I'm gonna take some photos. If you guys aren't following us over on Instagram, we are at C2DubPix. Go follow us, check us out. We do videos and photos over there, so we'd love you to have we'd love you to have you over there and join us for the journey that we're on. Yeah, we're also on TikTok. Uh, search us at Chase on Two Wheels. We make some fun shit. All right, before the vehicle and I melt, let's get back in this thing and uh, let's finish up and try to figure out who the hell is this for? Oh, there's a person. Oh, this seat is on fire. My ass is burning. Oh my God, that was a mistake. We gotta get this going before Chase uh, Chase's butt melts. Can we do a steering lock test? I mean, we can certainly try. Let's lock these things over and let's see if it can I don't know if we can turn around in this whole area. <laughs> Steering lock probably not gonna mean the same as it typically does. Oh no, the worst we've seen. <laughs> All right, so no steering lock test for obvious reasons. Cool. Let's get the first ride finished while uh, my legs get to a solid medium rare. All right guys, couple things before we get to who this vehicle is for. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are gonna wonder, do you have to wear a helmet in this? And yes, you do. I think it's categorized as a auto cycle. You get the carryover of the motorcycle thing. This whole three wheel space is really weird. I don't think the government knows what the hell to require out of it. Uh, but as far as the slingshot goes, you are supposed to wear a helmet. Obviously, that's if you have a helmet law in your state. So guys, who is the uh, slingshot for? Specifically the SLR model. I honestly feel like this vehicle, it serves no purpose other than having a just fun vehicle. It serves no utility. It's only got two seats. It does have a little bit of storage behind the seat that can just barely fit a full-faced helmet, which is cool if you're if you're driving this to somewhere and you didn't want to carry your helmet around and you know have to deal with motorcycle other motorcyclist style uh, issues that most people have to deal with. You can just kind of stow your helmet back there, which is pretty neat. So this has got to be somebody's like fun vehicle. Now I will say. As far as a fun, fun vehicle goes, you know, a lot of people, maybe they want to do like autocross and they get a little Miata and they, you know, race it out. And a lot of people don't want to do any of the super sporty stuff that uh, is involved with having a supercar. Maybe you don't want to pay for a, a Porsche to look really cool. And the cool thing is the majority of people have no idea about anything to do with a slingshot. Nobody knows what they are. They just think they're this cool little supercar looking thing. If you're wanting this like supercar vibe where it's fun to ride around, you don't even have to be going fast and you can be having a ton of fun and you want people to look at you like, oh shit, look at that guy. Like this thing gets so many looks by so many people, especially when you got these cool orange colors and shit. If you're looking for a vehicle that's more of a fun thing, serves no purpose you pull it out on the weekends when you want to uh go out and have a little fun cruise around this is like the perfect vehicle it's only 30 grand when you're considering you know a, it in the car space i think my problem with the slingshot is i consider it in the motorcycle space in which case 30 grand's a lot uh in the car space it's really not that bad and if you can pay 30 grand and have a super unique, fun little car to ride around on the on the weekends or, or something like that, that'd be awesome. These things also rent out really freaking well because there's a lot of, uh, of uh, interest in trying these things out. So if you're trying a little side hobby, my, I could totally recommend like downloading the Toro app. You can uh, basically rent your car out. You buy one of these and I promise you, you can rent this thing out all the time on the weekends, especially if you live somewhere that's like a lot of tourist attractions. Could be a secondary business, just saying. So guys, at the end of the day, I think to sum it all up, I'd say the Slingshot, the SLR model that we're in, is it offers a very fun and unique riding experience that would typically cost a lot more money. I don't know if it's the most amazing vehicle to own, unless you're in the right area where you want to take like fun cruising around occasionally i will say as far as something to rent and check out it is an absolute must so if you guys uh if you guys live in an area where you have a lot of places that it's fun to just cruise around on and just whip it around town you might need to consider yourself a slingshot it's a really unique ride and uh if I'm going to be honest, every year when uh, Slingshot reaches out to let us loan one for a month, I do get really excited. 
I miss riding around in this thing and trust me while we have this thing in the shop I'm taking it out as much as possible. But anyways guys that's all I got to say about the Slingshot SLR here. If you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button subscribe for motorcycle content. Hopefully you enjoyed this video thanks for riding around with me and I'll see you on the next one. Later. Outro crew, what's up guys? Put OC in your comment. Thanks for getting in the, the video. We love you guys a little bit longer. And let us know guys, is the slingshot a type of vehicle that you would actually consider? Or are you strictly just car and motorcycle? Can you can you uh, bargain to get that third wheel into the game? Let us know in the comments down below guys. I'm Jason on two wheels and we'll see you on the next one. Later. Later.